It's going to be one of those hands. Perverting the course of justice. Yeah. Do you know what it means? Not really. Well, if someone's actions expose an innocent man to the risk of arrest, remand in custody, or even prosecution, then we can charge them with perverting the course of justice. An offence that can result in a custodial sentence. Do you mean like going to jail? And there's also... wasting police time. So you see, we have a pretty serious situation here. Why did you do it? I don't know. Let me guess then. Was it a prank that got out of control? Yeah, it was. But you kept on doing it for months. Even when you could see how upset everyone was. I know. After everything your family have been through, did you really think what you were doing was funny? No. I'm sorry. Your mother was so frightened she came to the police. And still you kept going. Seven cards. You only stopped when you got caught. I can't imagine what's going on in that head of yours. What's going to happen to me? What do you think? Go home. And behave. Thank you. Come on. Stand up. We're going home. Who'd go to jail if they didn't have to? Could you really go to jail? Well, according to my lawyer, yeah. If I plead not guilty and try and fight it, and then I'm found guilty, apparently it makes it worse, and they'll try and teach me a lesson. Yeah, but you're not guilty. It was Becky. Yeah, but they don't know that. I'm trying to convince her to plead guilty. And why would she want to do that? Because that way, Magistrate just give her community service, and she won't have to go to jail. Yeah, but if you find her innocent, she won't have to go to jail either. Yeah, but my lawyer reckons I might lose. I mean, do you want her to go to jail? No, of course not. Well, tell her it doesn't mean anything if she pleads guilty. Uh, it means I'm saying I did it. It means you stay out of jail. What difference does it make? Would you think any less of it? No, I know you never nick that stuff. I don't want you to go to prison. <sighs> At last, I think we're getting there. You're the man. So we're we going uptown, or what then? <laughs> well, I'm up for it. <laughs> no, we'll need transport. Oh, I bet I can sort that out. Hang on. Hello. Hi, Steve, it's me. Uh, can you do us a taxi into town? No, bring the office, speak to Eileen. Oh, can't you do it? No, I'm in a pub. Oh, please, you do it for your little old mum. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> so can you do it? <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> Is Tyrone here? He's gone to the gents. Right. Come here, lover, and give us a kiss. Ah, I'm full of grease. A bit of honest grease never hurt no one. Oh, put him down. You don't know where he's been. I know exactly where he's been. It wouldn't put me off, neither. <laughs> I'll see you later at home. Yeah, look after her. We will. we will. Wait up for me. I will. <laughs> oh, 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 let's go to the blue parrot, because I love cocktails. Oh, oh I love cocktails, yes, mate. Especially if Tom Cruise is mixing them. <laughs> He's too short for you. He goes down on a boss. <laughs> Here, you know what we should do, don't you? What? We should go to Spain and stay in my new villa. Oh, oh. count me in. And me. <laughs> 
Oh, it goes to Of course it has. Uh, oh, so include me then? No, this is girls only. <laughs> oh, no, don't be too hasty. He could drive us round, carry our bags, keep the pool clean. What do you look like in a pair of trunks? Uh, well, I've seen worse. <laughs> oh, I bet you wish you never asked. <laughs> Blue parrot. Yeah! <laughs> do you know what? I reckon you're right. I reckon it's better to have loads of different holidays rather than get stuck going to the same place year in year out. See? Now you're thinking my way, love. So, what happens next, eh? Well, now we've finished the pizza, I'm going to have another bottle of vino. Danny, I was talking about you and me. Well, I don't know, love, but play your cards right and I'll let you put a smile on my face once I've finished this. I meant, what about our future? Well, what do you want from the future, Lee? I want to be happy. You know what, love? I want you to be happy at all. You know, so I reckon there's a good chance that that's what's happen. I mean, look at us, me and you, we've got it all. We've got the flat, we've got the factory, we've got enough money to take holiday any time, anywhere we please. Look, we are the winners, love. Come on, glasses. To winning. To winning. <laughs> Are you sick of something, baby? You haven't touched that chair, I mean. I'm not hungry. Hey, what's this? I just don't want to go back to jail. You plead guilty. You won't have to. Yeah, I don't want to do that neither. Come on, you heard them down the pub. No one will think any less of you. None of this is your fault. And the people that matter know that. It's not fair. No, no. And I know it's selfish, but I don't want you to go to jail. I'd plead guilty for you myself if I could. You're only saying that because you know you won't have to. Sweet two little words. Guilty, my lud. Then you come back to me. Why are you so keen for me to plead guilty? I mean, how come you're not fighting for me innocence? Because I know you're innocent. There's no point fighting when you know you're going to lose. When Becky were in trouble, I gave her a bit of money. And now look what's happened. I'm having to plead guilty to a crime I didn't commit, just so I don't have to go to jail. Yeah, well, it's a cruel world. <laughs> well... I'm going to be nice to another number again. Hey, prison company accepted. It's not been an easy day for any of us. But it's also the last day that anybody ever mentions Richard's cards. Well, I don't think... No, just let me finish, ma'am. Go on. The victims of David's cruel joke are all in this room. He's apologised to me, and now I think he should apologise properly to his gran and his sister. I'm sorry. I never meant to frighten anyone. Anything that makes it all right? You're a psycho. The police should lock you up. Don't say that, Sarah. This family suffered far worse than David's stupid cards. We've survived because we've stuck together, and that's what we're going to do now. I'm wiping the slate clean. No jokes. No cheap jibes. This matter is never discussed again, either inside or outside this family. It's nobody else's business. And I mean nobody's. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, yes. <clears throat> Might not talk about it, but we won't forget. Can I go now, Mum? It's just I'm really tired. Coming up, the biggest stars are getting ready to perform in the biggest gig of all. Live from Old Trafford, England versus the rest of the world. Robbie versus Gordon, Gaza versus Zola. Soccer Aid kicks off next.